During the past three years, I've spoken to you on many occasions about national concerns, the energy crisis, reorganizing the government, our nation's economy, and issues of war, and especially peace. So I want to speak to you first tonight about a subject even more serious than energy or inflation. I want to talk to you right now about a fundamental threat to American democracy. It is a crisis of confidence. It is a crisis that strikes at the very heart and soul and spirit of our national will. For the first time in the history of our country, a majority of our people believe that the next five years will be worse than the past five years. In the winter of 7980 was the darkest moment. Uh, first of all, you of course had the ongoing hostage crisis in Iran in November 1979. And then there's the attempt to rescue the hostages in Iran, which failed. With all the things that were going on through the Cold War, USA versus Russia. The Russians were in Afghanistan. We had just come off the Jimmy Carter malaise. Gas lines and Carter coming on TV and telling you to turn your thermostat down. There was always these rumors about what was going to happen with the summer games. And ultimately, there was the boycott, which none of us really agreed to. And the mood of the country was just very downbeat. People felt as if our presence and power in the world had eroded some. Our importance and the apex of our power was in those years shortly after World War II. And it continued to increase into the 60s and when we landed a man on the moon in 69. And now here it was early 1980 and we had Watergate. Carter gets elected after Nixon, who was a disgrace. And the, you know, the Soviets were just bigger, better, strong in, in everything. And that just, wow, it just, it was like a pivot for, for our country almost. It was just odd. America was in turmoil at the time. We needed something to bring us all together. 